Hello, I'm Harvey Godwin Jr. I'm here with uh, my friend Ellery Locklear, the owner of uh, Locklear Farms. And I'm just here today just to showcase his uh, operation, but more importantly than that, to thank you, Ellery, for what you've done at the Culture Center, uh, the garden. This is our second season, and you can help uh, collaborate with the tribe and uh, with the leadership at the tribe to start that garden. And this year it's absolutely flourishing through bad weather. And now we have a 2,000 square foot uh, high tunnel that we got through a USDA grant where we'll be able to go from plant to seeds. And uh, I just want to thank you. Yesterday we had back to school bash and the kids ate uh, fresh sweet corn out of the garden, never frozen. That, that was pretty good. So just tell us how you think that process started, why you got involved and uh, what crops did we plant this year? I, I guess it's an honor when you be, uh, people seek you out to help in uh, community projects. And I mean, I think being a small business, a local business, we should be engaged with our local uh, community service projects of any kind. But this is special. It's the one be uh, Tribal Cultural Center. We're trying to, you know, go back to our culture, you know, trying to get some culture. A lot of people don't have any, you know, good, bad, or ugly. And I mean, if you don't start children young eating fresh and knowing to value eating fresh and growing their own food, it's, it's a hard habit to pick up later, you know, when you already picked up those bad habits. Uh, we had um, peppers, you know, hot bell peppers, tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, cantaloupes, watermelons, peas, butter beans, sweet corn. I mean, it's just the staple, it's the staple foods for summertime gardens here, you know. Well, I know uh, starting out last year at the Culture Center, um, you do donated your time and the seeds and the plants, and I, I really want to thank you for helping us get up on the, our foot on that. And then count, you were the reason Camel Soup came in and, and uh, provided a grant to help us with that, and they did that last year and this year. Yeah. What are some of the things that you sell? How many acres do you have, and what do you grow on uh, those acres? You grow about 80 acres of produce, and that's it's a spring crop and summer and fall crop, so it's, well over 100 acres of produce once we, you know, get it all harvested, planting, you know, through through the seasons. But we kick off the season with strawberries, and then we go right on to the spring vegetables, summer. I mean, the squash and cucumbers and potatoes. Go right on through the summer. I try to keep something. We, we're picking probably a constant amount all through the summer and fall, right on into the winter if the. Uh, weather allows because I want to, um, people want consistency, you know, so. How, how many people work here? Uh, it's a lot of seasonal. We have about seven people that work, you know, constant through uh, spring, through the fall, and then at summertime we can pick up, we can have 20 some people here picking stuff during the summer, so. i tell you one thing, uh, you're a, a local Lumbee entrepreneur, you're back to the land, all the things we're trying to teach at the Boys and Girls Club and teach our people about uh, getting back to land, looking after our environment, protecting our environment, growing and, and eating and uh, growing healthy, uh, cooking healthy, eating healthy, all those things you're promoting and also you're employing people, so you're an economic developer as, as well, you're employing people which puts money back into the local economy. And I want to thank you for all you're doing and especially thank you for what you're doing for your tribe. God bless you. All right. <laughs>